Hey everyone, welcome back to Magdalene's Craft. I am your tarot reader, Lady Magdalene, and today's pick a card is going to be who is your fake friend? Who in your life or what friend in your life is being fake to you or two-faced to you? Um, or who is being like fake friendly to you? So however it may resonate. So for pile number one, you guys are going to be the seven of air. Seven of air for pile number one. Honestly, I'm not too familiar with this name in mythology, um, but I believe it's pronounced Laverna. If anyone knows anything about mythology or anything about Laverna, you're welcome to leave a comment down below um, because I don't know anything about Laverna in mythology. Um, but she is the seven of air in this deck, and that is what pile number one is going to be. Pile number two, this is the two of earth, two of earth card. This is hell. H-E-L. I think it's pronounced hell. <laughs> but this is the two of earth card in this deck for pile number two. For pile number three, you guys are going to be the priestess, the Pythia. So the Pythia, which is the priestess card in this deck, you guys are going to be pile number three. Again, this is pile one, pile two, and pile three. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. If you chose this card for pile number one, this is your timeless reading on who is being a fake friend or two-faced friend or who is being fake friendly to you. Okay, so pile number one, this is definitely a friend of yours. I'm hearing a close friend, um, a best friend, a BFF, a um, friend that feels like family. Um, this is a very close friend. You may consider them a sister or a brother. Um, very, very close friendship here. For some of you, this is a mother or mother figure that is pretending to be a close friend. For others of you, this could be a father or father figure that is pretending to be your friend. Um, it doesn't have to be your parents or a parent-like figure, um, but it could be. Um, but if it's not, it's definitely a very close friend, like a best friend or a family friend or something like that. Um, since we have the third house, this person could be a Gemini. This person could definitely be a Gemini. We also have 11th house, um, which I think is Aquarius. So this person could be a Aquarius or Gemini for some of you, not all of you though. Doesn't The zodiac signs don't always have to resonate for everyone. This person is a lot of drama here, like, um, or they're always bringing you drama, or they're always putting you in the middle of drama, or dragging you into drama, or dragging the drama to you, like, this person is just non-stop drama. I'm also seeing water signs and air signs here. Maybe you guys are water or air sign, or this person could be a water or air sign. This person doesn't like the fact that you have a lot of wisdom or a lot of knowledge or the fact that some of you have some kind of psychic abilities here or maybe you have spiritual abilities. Uh, maybe you read tarot or this person knows that you're involved with tarot um, or they just know that you're very smart, you're very wise, you're, you're very knowledgeable and uh, they, don't, they don't like the fact that you have wisdom or that you embody this oracle energy. This is someone who tries to give you a helping hand. This person is always 
either they used to always give you a help a helping hand or they currently do this um they're always trying to like act like they want to help you um but they're really actually fake about it uh, for some of you especially this is a parent this parent of yours may be withholding money from you because it looks like there's like money in their hand it's like they're like well i wish i could help you but i don't have anything to help you with and but they're secretly like stashing money or hiding money or withholding money from you um they act like they're just like i wish i could help i wish i could give a helping hand but i got it it's like this person's too folk like they're even walking away from the person that they need to help like sorry like um this person doesn't really ever want to help you they're always like walking away from you running away from you um disconnecting from you it's going to be different for everyone like for some of you this person is either always trying to give you a helping hand or for others of you this person always acts like oh i wish i could help but and they could help but they just refuse not to because they're either like really self-centered or selfish or greedy this is someone that you definitely have like really strong energetic cords to. So it definitely, definitely another confirmation that this person is a family member or a very close friend that you have like strong energetic cords to. Like if you wanted um, to not have anything to do with this person anymore, you would probably want to do some kind of cord cutting. Um, just because of how close the bond is, whether it's through um, bonding through a deep friendship or bonding through DNA. For some of you, um, this either this person doesn't like the fact that you travel or either this person has like left, either left you or left the friendship or something like that to like move away or travel. I'm not sure who that's for. Or some of, some of you could be the ones that are traveling. Or some of you are at a distance uh, with this person. Some of you are at a, a very large distance from this person. If you guys write, if you're a writer or if um, you create something or if you're a content creator or a blogger, vlogger, writer, whatever it may be, um, this person is like i don't know i don't know if they're, if they're yeah okay okay never mind i just heard green with envy so yeah they are jealous of the fact if you do um have these psychic or spiritual abilities or if you are a writer or a content creator or something like that um they are jealous of these things for someone here very uh, specific you went to school with this person Someone here could have cut the cord to communication. This is the third house messages card. Um, you could have stopped talking to them or this person could have stopped talking to you because I'm hearing the I'm hearing cutting the cord of communication. I feel like you guys used to message each other or text each other a lot and now you don't. Yeah, for some of you, this person's been trying to reach out to you. Um, this person's been trying to reach out to you, but I feel like you guys aren't talking to them. Um, some of you came to realize that this person was fake or fake to you, and it, you, it could have made you really upset or depressed or disappointed. And now that they keep trying to reach out to you, it's like you're giving them the silent treatment. And it could be uh, giving them anxiety or bothering them. Oh, wow. Well, I just realized we have cr uh, creator card as well. Yeah, you guys definitely could be a content creators. Or uh, you could be like someone that creates something and sells it on Etsy. Or you could have like your own uh, business or your own store. Um, anything like that. Some of you are definitely some sort of creator over here. Or artist. Yeah, I think some of you realize that this uh, that this family member or this friend was jealous of you. And then you kind of withdrew your energy to protect your energy because you didn't like what you saw. 
Um, for some of you, it was not a easy decision to make. You guys had to be brave um, to make this decision because of the fact that it was a family member or a close friend. This person doesn't like the fact that you're becoming independent or the fact that you're becoming more brave. And do you feel like this person was an energy vampire here? This person could be uh, living, living by the beach because it is a mermaid card. For some of you, this person is jealous of the fact that you're a mother or that you're a father. That's for someone very specific. Um, also, we have the maiden card here. It says, demand what is yours and take back what was taken. Reclaim until you've gathered all of you. Wow. Remember how I said earlier that this, this friend or family member could be taking something that belongs to you or that's owed to you. Um, they're taking and getting, they're, it's like they're getting resources or finances somehow, um, but they're hoarding it or they're withholding it or I don't know. I feel like this person owes you money in some way. And, um, <laughs> and that might be why they kind of like run off a lot or, um, for those of you that it does resonate with if this person like ran off or something like that or moved somewhere or traveled somewhere, it's like they're trying to run away from helping or um, owing you. Yeah, uh, this fake friend or fake family member, they definitely know that they owe you something. And I really feel like for a lot of you, it's money. For some of you, it has something to do with a inheritance. I see some of you are owed some kind of inheritance or um, and some kind of inheritance was withheld from you. Oh, wow. And I'm just now realizing, too, that with this South Node card, it says life's debt. I really feel like this family member or friend that's very fake to you, uh, they, they're in debt to you, okay? This could be a, um, a friend that borrowed money from you or borrowed something that was expensive from you. Um, this could be um, a family member that didn't give you uh, your inheritance money or uh, maybe they never paid child support or something like that. It's going to be different for different people, but I do feel like this, you know, this family member, this family member could have stolen from you or bor borrowed money from you as well. Yeah, this person tricked you. I'm hearing a grand trick. Like they they fooled you greatly or they um, came up with some, I'm hearing a master plan or mastermind or something like that. Um, like this person went to great lengths to trick you or deceive you or to steal from you. This person um, has no problem sacrificing you for them for themselves. This person has no problem. Um, they would literally let you die just so that they could live type of person. Like they, they don't protect people. They only care about themselves. Um, you know, even if this is a family member, like this could even be a parent that would, um, not protect you in some way or they would save their lives before trying to save yours and for others of you this is a friend or family member that has no problem stabbing you in the back to get what they want i'm hearing for some of you this person feels like their time is up whether it's with age like they feel like their time is up because of how old they're getting or they feel like their time is up because some of these people are about to go to jail or prison for something they've done and they know that their time is running out until they get caught. This person could be in a huge regret right now. They are in a lot of regret for um, bringing drama to you or they're in regret because you figured them out and now you're not communicating with them or they could be in regret because they know that they owe you something or that they're in debt to you in some way and I feel like you guys are very much standing in your power or walking in your power here um, and you're not flinching okay you're not flinching at all and they're trying to reach out to you, but I feel like a lot of you, like, 
Most of you already know this person's fake, which is funny because you came to this reading to find out who is fake, but I feel like you already know that this person's fake. <laughs> Some of the numbers that I'm seeing are 35, 42, 22, 9, 20, 21, 27, 30, 52, and 7. This could be a age, a life path number, a birth month, a birth date for either you or this person, um, but numbers don't have to resonate for everyone. I'm also hearing that this person's in like fantasy land or la la land, or they don't take responsibility. They're very irresponsible, very selfish, very greedy. There's always some shit going on in their life or some drama or they're always uh, starting drama with you or bringing drama to you. This person is a total narcissistic energy vampire. For someone here very specific, this was a friend with benefits. I'm seeing someone here that this fake friend was a friend with benefits. For others of you, it was like a really, really close friend, like a BFF. Uh, best friend um, for others of you it's a fake it's a fake family member like a fake father fake mother um, and remember when I say father or mother it could also it doesn't ha always have to be biological it could be a step parent it could be a godparent it could be a grandparent it could be your in-laws and I really feel like it hurt you guys to have to put a wall up or to guard yourself or protect your energy um, it really hurt you to have to do this. I feel like you guys didn't want to have to do this, um, but you felt like it was necessary even if it hurt you to do this or even if it broke your heart to have to put your guard up or your wall up. Um, but you did the right thing in order to protect yourself and protect your energy. And that is everything that I'm seeing for pile number one. If you felt like this resonated, please let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't forget, I, you guys, I do have a uh, Patreon now. I have a Patreon now. Uh, if you guys want to go check that out, tier one is $10 a month and tier two is $20 a month. Um, a few of you have already uh, subscribed and became. So thank you to everyone who's already subscribed to me over on Patreon. I highly, highly appreciate you guys, and I'm going to have fun with you guys over there. I'm excited to see where uh, my Patreon goes, and uh, yeah, we are going to move on to pile number two. Hey, pile number twos, if this is the card that you chose, this is your timeless reading on who is your fake friend or who is being, uh, who's being like fake friendly to you. This person is very, very curious about you. This person is very curious about you. They're curious about how you're making your money or how you're creating this fortune for yourself. Or they're curious about um, where you work or what you do for a living. Um, this person is... This person really does not like you, okay? With the hag of wildfire, this is someone who wants to end you or create some kind of ending in your life. Um, this is a card, this is like, this is someone who's very, very angry with you. Um, I'm, I'm feeling a really dark energy with this card. This person has a lot of a lot of dark energy and as i say that i look down and we have the eighth house endings and beginnings this person wants to cause an ending for you whether it's okay for some of you for a lot of you it's an ending to your fortune or they want to end your job they want to end your money your fortune anything to do with money or work or employment they want to end that and they want to secretly do it too we got the camera uh camouflage card this person is a secret enemy. They're trying to hide their tracks. They don't want you to catch them. This is someone I'm okay. I'm going to be honest. This person I feel like is a black magician or they do black magic or they're a uh, black witch. Um, when I say that, I mean like 
there's white witches, gray witches, and black witches. White witches primarily do white magic. Gray witches do white and black magic. Um, and black witches only do black magic. And this is someone who primarily does black magic. Um, I see this person being like a dark practitioner or dark magician or witch here. Someone here needs to be careful because for someone here very specific, this person um, could be a little bit of a, um, a, fuck, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called pyromaniac, pyro something. Like this is the type of person that would set your fucking something on fire, okay? This is someone who would set something on fire. So just be careful. That's for someone specific. That message is not for all of you. Um, but yeah, for some of you, they're trying to secretly, again, for someone specific, they're trying to secretly set something on fire. For others of you, this person is secretly trying to end your fortune, end your abundance, end your job, um, end your financial security. They're also trying to end your destiny. You guys are destined to do something or destined to be a certain somebody. And I feel like they are definitely putting black magic on you or some kind of dark magic on you in order to stop your destiny and to stop your fortune. This energy is really fucked up, to be honest. I was not expecting this. Um, this is someone who dabbles deep, deep, deep into dark magic, okay? This is someone who hexes, curses, um, just a lot of um dark magic i don't even think this person does any white magic at all um i think it's primarily dark magic this person could be a scorpio with the eighth house this person could be a scorpio or have scorpio placements in their chart for others of you this is an earth sign because we do have the two of earth and we have earth worship this person could be a taurus uh virgo capricorn or have those zodiac signs in their placements in their birth chart um or maybe you guys you guys could be the scorpio or you guys could be an earth sign uh, or this person could be for some of you this person is a fire sign okay with all this fire going on uh, for some of you, this fake person could definitely be like a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, um, or either, if not, they're just like really fucking hot-headed <laughs> towards you. Like, this person hates you, but they're curious about you at the same time. I'm also hearing they're trying to get information about you because they're trying to, like, use something against you, or they're trying to collect information on you or gather information on you to use against you in some way or to like get you fired or to um, stop your finances coming in. This person feels like you seduce money. This person, Lord, this person may actually think that you're doing sexual stuff for money, even if you're not like, which I feel like obviously I feel like most of you are not doing that. Um, and no shame to people that do do whatever. I'm not judging anyone. Um, but this person uh, definitely feels like you seduce people for money. So they could be thinking that, you know, you're, you're a sex worker, whether it's in-person sex work or online sex work. Um, or either they feel like you could be a sugar baby and you got some kind of sugar daddy. Or they could be thinking or saying that you're sleeping with your boss, you're sleeping with the owner or the manager. Uh, for some of you, uh, they think that the way you dress or the way you look or the fact that you could show cleavage or your breasts or something like that here, um, they feel like that's how you get your tips or your donations or, or your promotions or bonuses or something like that. This person is very jealous of your beauty even if you guys are a man watching this, they're jealous of how good you look. This this person feels like you hypnotize people or that you put people in some kind of trance. This is someone who's been going around warning people of you. This person could be going on a smear campaign against you. This person wants you to lose hope. This person wants you to be in poverty. They want you to be poor. Uh, they don't want you to have anything. They don't want you to manifest anything. This person is like so sick and twisted and dark that they don't even want you to have money to eat. Like they would, 
be happy to see you starve. Like this person hates you that much. They want you to be able to lose all of your hope. This is the type of person that would draw blood without mercy. Um, they don't care if you got physically hurt. To be honest, this person probably wouldn't even care if you died. Like this is a very, very dark person. But I do feel like this person is jealous of your beauty. They're jealous of your finances or your job or your position at work. I Oh my God, we have seduction twice. We have seduction here and we have seduction here. This person may be going around saying that, I feel like this person is going around trying to get dirt on you to further their smear campaign. This person is trying to make you out like you're some kind of monster. For some of you, this person may be trying to frame you. Especially with this talking about manipulation. This person is trying their best to secretly manipulate you, your life story, uh, your surroundings, your history, everything. They're trying to manipulate everything about you because they feel like you are the manipulator. It's re really weird. It's like this, this person is projecting. This person feels like a lot of people desire you. They do not like the fact that people desire you or want you or admire you or think that you're handsome or beautiful. This person really thinks that you use people for money or you use uh, your sex appeal to get money. I feel like you guys are very down to earth. You're very, you could be natural looking or you could just be a down to earth type of personality. Um, or, or this person, okay, I'm here for some of you, this person tries to act like they're down to earth and chill and calm. Um, but they're, they're really not. They're really this, this hag of wildfire that is inside of them. They, they may try to come off like love and light and, hippie and peace and world peace and you know all this shit but deep inside this is what is the energy that's like lurking down there and they're trying their best to hide what's deep inside of them they're trying their best to cloak it they don't want you to see their true intentions or what they're working on behind the scenes I'm hearing this person does not mind getting their hands dirty or even having blood on their hands when it comes to trying to take you down. I'm also hearing with this card that they're saying that you're a man eater. They could be telling people that you're a man eater or they just think or assume you're some kind of man eater. <laughs> but yeah, this person could definitely um, be a Scorpio or have a dominant Scorpio placements in their birth chart. Um, that doesn't have to resonate for everyone though. Um, we have dawn, the light after the darkness. Okay, I'm hearing for some of you, this, this person, if they did do some kind of dark magic on you, it's possible that it did, it could have affected some of you, um, but you came out stronger, you came out bolder, you came out with a brighter uh, future or brighter life than before. Like this person may have tried knocking you down. For some of you, they could have succeeded a little bit, but like you got right back up and you're flying into your new life, which is even better than before. It's, it's definitely, it's the light after the darkness. You guys are a lot smarter and a lot wiser now too. Oh, I just realized there's a fox back here. This person is trying, I heard sly like a fox, sly like a fox. This person is trying to be fox-like. They really don't want you to figure them out. For someone here very specific, this person could live in Egypt or be from Egypt. That's not for everyone though. I'm also seeing the numbers 44, 32, 48, 35, 6, 8, 7, 13, and 13. We have the angel number 1313. If you guys want to look that up on Google and get a extra message from this reading. I'm hearing this person has like razor sharp teeth. So I really feel like they are talking pretty brutally in a negative manner behind your back. 
Um, and this talks about having really sharp claws. This, this person has no problem like hurting you in any type of way, whether it's hurting you emotionally, hurting your you financially, hurting your reputation, um, anything, but they're doing it behind the scenes. They're doing it in a very sneaky and sly type of way. And they're definitely doing some kind of black magic or dark magic behind the scenes as well, targeting you. They're trying to target your destiny and they're trying to target your money or your job. I can't remember if there's a pig in Chinese Zodiac, but this person could be a pig in Chinese Zodiac if there is a pig. For some of you, you definitely got some kind of promotion or raise or you got awarded for something and they don't like that shit. They don't like that you're getting that. You guys are very happy. Um, you guys have a really good outlook on life and that pisses them off as well. Some of you are uh, being honored by someone that you respect or you're getting attention from someone that you respect and it's pissing this person off. But yeah, this is someone, for some of you, you've already kind of had this person in question here or either spirit is saying you need to start questioning this person or questioning their motives. Because this is a very two-faced person. They're giving you one side, but behind closed doors, they're a complete other person. Yeah, they really don't like that you're manifesting it, and it's becoming uh, fruitful and abundant for you. Someone here could be traveling to Egypt. This person could be traveling to Egypt um, for someone specific. Some of you are starting some kind of revolution. And they don't like the, f oh, no, no, okay. I mean, that could that message could have resonated for someone, but I'm hearing now that they are trying to start some kind of secret revolution or revolution behind the scenes or behind the doors. And it's a revolution against you. Like, again, they're trying to make you out like you're a manipulator, a manipulative man-eating uh, sugar baby prostitute or something like that. Or that you use your looks to, or your body to get ahead in life or to have more money. And they're trying to, like, cause this, like, up uproar behind the scenes. They're trying to start some kind of revolution against you. But this, it's really just this person jealous of you. They're upset with you. Um, just highly, highly jealous and uh, very hot-headed towards you and what you got going on in your life and what... Um, you're materializing in your life and this person I feel like this is also what this person looks like like when they see you in person or see you online like their eyes just squint and their uh, bore razor sharp teeth come out like they just they squint their eyes at you a lot or they could roll their eyes at you a lot when you're not looking um, or behind your back or something like that. Like this person really, really hates you. They're super salty when it comes to you. And again, they're really curious about you. They're trying to figure you out or collect information on you or gather some kind of information on you um, because they feel like the more they know about you, the easier you are a target or you're easier to attack. But I believe that's everything I see for pile number two. You guys, if you felt like it resonated, please let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget, you guys, I have a Patreon now. It's uh, tier one is $10 a month and tier two is $20 a month. I've already posted my first video on there now and I'm going to post another video on there later this week or tomorrow. I've already got a few of you um, that have subscribed on there. So I really appreciate those who have subscribed to me over there on Patreon. I really, really appreciate you guys. And we are going to move on to pile number three. Hey, pile number threes, if you chose this card, this is your timeless reading on who is being a fake friend or who is being fake uh, friendly to you, who's like being fake to your face or being fake friendly to you. Or who's the friend in your life that's being fake? This person could be a Cancer with the moon sign. It could be a Cancer. They could have Cancer in their birth chart. We also have sixth house, so this, which I think is Virgo. So this person could be a Virgo, or they could be a Cancer. 
Um, I'm also seeing fourth house which I believe is also cancer. So two confirmations on cancer and I'm seeing water element. So this person could be a water sign. So they could be a Virgo, Cancer, uh, Pisces. Uh, this is actually a third confirmation that this person could be a cancer or this person could be a Scorpio because this is all water signs and we've got fourth house and sixth house and the moon. You need to protect yourself from this person. Um, this person could be showing you fake love, uh, fake support, fake admiration. There's something weird about this person or strange about this person. And it's like you need to protect yourself from them because they're giving you fake support or fake love or admiration here. This is someone who's desperately trying to get in your energy as well. Like they're trying to cling tight to your energy. For some of you, this person um, fucked you over or did something that could have hurt your feelings or um, hurt your reputation or hurt your business or um, hurt your relationships or friendships with other people. Um, this person could have came to you and asked for your forgiveness. Uh, would you forgive them? They could have came to you and apologized to you about something here. I feel like this person um, could have been really bitchy to you. They could have been a cunt or start try to start like some kind of war with you. Uh, but they definitely put their big ass sword down and was like started to apologize to you or ask for your forgiveness. This person definitely wanted you to take a chance on them or to say yes to them or to forgive them. They want you to give them a second chance. We have the Priestess card and we also have Crystal Ball Insight. Um, Spirit is saying to use your intuition, use tarot, use some kind of divination, talk to your ancestors, your spirit guides, your spirit team, whatever. Um, because you need to be illuminated about this person. And I'm pretty sure your spirit team would just tell you to protect yourself from this person, protect your energy from this person. This person is trying to trick you or deceive you and you need to see through that bullshit. This person could definitely have been putting candle magic on you, cursing you or hexing you, putting some kind of black or baneful magic on you. Maybe some of you need to do some kind of protection magic against this person. For some of you, this is a family member with the roots card. This could be a family member or this could be a roommate or a ex-roommate or um, if that doesn't resonate, it's just someone that's a fake supporter. Or someone that has like fake admiration for you or this fake compassion. I'm hearing this person is upset because they're alone, like they're a lone wolf. Um, which normally I would say being a lone wolf is a good thing, but the energy I'm getting right now is that this is like, I don't know, this person's like mad and upset and causing a scene and being vicious because they're, they feel lonely or they're alone in some way. They could have taken that out on you. I do feel like this person could be getting tarot readings done on you or they be, they could be uh, paying a tarot reader or, you know, like watching tarot videos or pulling their own tarot cards to get some kind of insight on you. I feel like this is someone who also with that crystal ball card, um, this person like it's in their daily routine to check up on you or spy on you or do tarot on you or to see what you're doing. This person is always watching you or looking at you or um, I don't know, like this person, it's in their daily routine to like see what's going on with you. For some of you, this is a coworker or someone you work with. Yeah, I'm being told that you need to do some kind of protection magic or you need to, um, if you pray, you need to start praying for, uh, for protection here. Because I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of getting, especially with the, the fake supporter energy, this is someone, it made me think of Selena. You guys remember when the uh, the, the musician, the singer Selena died, um, she got killed by her one of her managers or someone that was like the head of something. I don't know, like it was someone that was working for Selena that killed her. Like this is someone that 
would definitely give you some kind of fake support just to fucking turn around and hurt you. This person wants to um, show you fake support or fake love or fake admiration. They want you to accept their apology or to forgive them. But if you did, you would be the person that's like dead in their fucking arms. Like this person, even if they actually mean their apology, although I feel like for most of you, they don't, okay? They're trying to trick you by acting like they're sorry. They're trying to trick you by acting like a human being, a normal human being by apologizing to you. But it's fake. It's deceitful. It's not real. This person, you find this, I feel like you could find, you guys find this person to be very odd and very strange. And I'm also hearing address the elephant in the room. Some of you did it. Okay. Yeah. And this talks about speaking. Um, and I heard address the elephant in the room. You guys could have addressed the elephant in the room with this person or this situation with this person. And this person did not like the fact that you spoke up or spoke your truth. Or you guys made something obvious to a lot of people or something just was very, very obvious that you brought to light here. And that is why this person is apologizing because you guys spoke up or you spoke your truth or you defended yourself or you addressed the elephant in the room in some way. I feel like you guys are leaders, okay? You are leaders. You guys are definitely not a follower. You are definitely a leader with the number one here, okay? You guys could be a life path number one for some of you. I do feel like you guys are very independent or you run your own business or I don't know. There's something very independent about you. I also feel like there's something very abundant about you as well. Or either you guys just work a lot or you stay busy a lot. I'm hearing you guys are the queen bee of whatever it is you're doing. You guys are the queen bee. I'm also hearing uh, that you guys have, some of you have a lot of different streams of income. Like you're not, I'm hearing you guys are not putting all your eggs in one basket. So you could have mul uh, multiple jobs or you could be going to school while working or you could have multiple streams of income for some of you. Like you guys are very, very busy and you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. You're not just gonna drink from one cup. This person is trying to act like they're kind. You know, I feel like at one point they weren't so kind. They could have been bitchy or an, an asshole. And now they're trying to come in and, and be compassionate and kind and sweet and caring and loving and supportive. They're trying to have sympathy about um, what they've said or done to you or sympathy with the situation or they want you to sympathize them or s sympathize with them or something. Uh, for some of you, they could be trying to prey on your good energy and make you pity them or uh, have sympathy for them. But they would, they still, I feel like even if you forgave them, they would just turn around and um, end up deceiving you or tricking you. I feel like this person wants your power or your authority, honestly. Or they, um, they either want your power or your authority, or they just want you to like love them or be close to them. Because for some of you, this, this person is like, obsessed with you and they like want to cling on to you and your energy and for others of you uh they want your power or authority here i feel like we have the sensing card we have the moon card we have the crystal ball card this is also the high priestess card over here i feel like you guys are sensing that it's not a good idea to accept this apology or to uh, befriend this person or work with this person or to give this person a second chance. I feel like uh, your spirit team is highly trying to communicate with you to tell you not to do this. Do not take another chance on them. Do not give them a second chance because there's something really strange and odd and weird going on with this person. And they're very, they're a trickster and they're very, very deceitful. For some of you, this is uh, the, for some of you, this is like a friend that's an opposite sex, and they may be trying. This is like okay. For some of you, this is someone of the opposite sex, and they're upset that you will either not have sex with them, or you won't be friends with benefits with them, or you won't take some kind of chance on them when it comes to having sex or dating. 
Um, yeah, for some of you, this is someone that was a friend or supporter or they acted like a friend or supporter, but they wanted more and you didn't give them more. So different, uh, definitely different messages for different people that pick this pile. Some of the numbers that I see are 28, 40, 14, 1, 27, 9, 30, 35, 16. So you guys, if you felt like that resonated, please let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget that I did just recently start up a Patreon. Uh, it is $10 a month for tier one and $20 a month for tier two. I just posted my very first Patreon video on there yesterday and some of you guys have already subscribed to that. So I really appreciate those who have done that. Um, I plan to have a lot of fun with you guys over there. So I'm excited to see where that goes. Um, but I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next videos. Bye.